This is the unwanted child of a cucumber and an eggplant. What's up, true foodies? This is Nick. Yep. I guess this is Mark. And we're really excited to bring you an episode today that you're watching. Opo squash. What is it? It's about time. I feel like people have been waiting for us to do Opo squash for a long time. And eventually you just got to give the people what they want. So that's what we're doing today. I personally had never heard of it and I still haven't heard of it. And I'm excited to hear a little bit about it before we start consuming it with our bodies. Nick, why don't you read us some internets? All right, let's get a little bit uh, scientific. The Opo squash is botanically part of the Lagenaria cicerea, and it's an oriental squash, member of the Cucurbitaceae family. It's a variety of gourd, essentially. What we're looking at okay. is a gourd, uh, to simplify things. Interestingly, many gourds are thought of as summer things, but the opo squash is available all year round. So if we're big fans of this, uh, it's something you can always get. I think it's kind of interesting. So this, is a year, this isn't like, oh, I have to wait to get eggnog at Christmas. I can always get opo squash. You can always get it. And then from just a little bit of nutrition for you, very low in calories, um, great. which is great. And it's got some vitamin C, folate, calcium, iron, and vitamin B. So, and it's got a lot of fiber too. So it's got a lot of nutritional value and very little calories. And you can get it all year round. So that's, it just seems like a convenient way to stay healthy. Yeah. So I guess some of my first impressions would be it is... Dense. It's dense, kind of like a football. Um, it's It's got some heft to it, and I don't know if that's because it's full of delicious juice, but I mean, my experience with gourds is carving them at Halloween, and usually they're full of really disgusting seed barf, and the, and the outside is very thick and kind of useless unless boiled. So I am curious to see what this has in store. Should we go at it corn on the cob style, or should we cut into it? I think we'll it? take a little look. I uh, always want to involve the True Food Reviews official knife when we can, because I feel like it's something that the people at home will always want to see. So let's take a look at it. It's not easy. It's not, it's easy. not that, easy to cut. This but... is a top-notch knife. This is one of the best knives, I would say, worldwide you're going to find. And it, you can do it, but it's it wasn't that easy. Okay, so this is unexpected. This is solid the whole way through. There's no... Um, Just one texture. Yeah. Like when I was talking about with the pump... Oh. No, no. Oh, no, no. No, there's, there's, a... there's two textures there, folks. The outside texture is what we would call wood. And the inside texture is what we would call... Um, Throw pillow. Yeah. You know, it's actually a lot... It actually, it's like it's a actually, piece of furniture, it's, really. It's keeping its... Imp Oh, the wood. memory foam. It's keeping its Im the imprints that I'm. Okay, well, there's only one way to know for sure, and that is to um... let's take a bite. I thought this would be worse. I was very pessimistic. the The skin is like when you said wood. That it is kind of like the bark of a tree. It's not quite as hard as that but it kind of ch has, it chips like bark a little bit and it's very hard um, and not particularly edible. There is some juiciness to the sort of outer vein like a cucumber would have, but it's not, it's not an exciting juiciness. I expected this, I expected this to be hard, but I didn't expect it to have no flavor at all. It's. It's very watery without being juicy, which is interesting. It is. Um, it tastes like water without the water. It's kind of like drinking um, out of a out of a dripping faucet. You get a little bit of water and it's gone. A little bit of water and it's gone. I'm trying to. I'm and that middle foamy part is. Um, it's a very unpleasant texture. It's kind of like if you microwaved a bowl of marshmallows and then left it, you know, under your bed for a while. I'm gonna get a seed out. We've talked about this on previous episodes with seeds. This one really particularly looks like an insect egg to me. The milky whiteness and the shape of it. I'm gonna give it a taste. I mean, much like the rest of it, it just, 
it doesn't taste like anything. No. Um, the seeds are kind of haphazardly installed into the product. Like, they're kind of just throughout without any rhyme or reason. You couldn't remove the seeds first. So, obviously, they must be editable. This... I'm, I'm this... going to cut into mine horizontally and kind of see if, see if we can a... see if the cross section in that direction has a different look because as you know if you cut an apple one way it looks different than if you cut it the other way because of the way the insides are all kind of aligned i would compare this to like an affleck brother you don't know a baldwin brother you're not that familiar with like liam hemsworth it's like the bad ah. brother of a well-known star. Like, not offensive, but not good. This is this is interesting. So this, again, it, it only verifies that how random the seeds are, are put into here. I mean, they're just, they're not even stacked properly. Whoever was designing this product did not take the time or the care or any effort to organize them in a, in a, in a palatable, comp, you know, an understandable way. And I mean, you can just see here, like, that this is just, this is very foamy. And I'm gonna cut out a piece here. And even if I hollowed out the whole center here, I'm not sure I'm getting much in the way of this, you know? There is a lot of foamy seeds. There's a lot, so you can like, try a bite of that. Again, I would expect this to be more unpleasant than it is, but that doesn't mean it has any redeeming value. Absolutely. It's kind of like going to see um, a show, you know, a stage production, where the tickets weren't very expensive, but you were bored. So yeah, you're so going, like look, I don't need my money back, but come on. You got together a team of, you got together a team of talented people. Look, you got together, they obviously had a skin technician who knew what he was doing because yeah. this- Very well it's, designed it's, skin. It's smooth, it's glossy, it's, it's appealing. Um, but the uh, the seed uh, uh, technician didn't didn't do their work. The the flesh designer took no care to really add any exciting colors, exciting flavors, and um, I think it's safe to say that the that the um, the flavor department was asleep asleep yeah. in the lab. No, it's brutal. It's a, done a brutal. It's like if you opened a huge aquarium in the middle of Toronto, and then you filled it with like perch and sunfish. Or and barnacles. Thing, and, yeah, just things that you would just see in Lake Ontario. This is disappointing. and It's just, it's lazy. It's just yeah. lazy. I think that's what bothers me so much. Yeah, I definitely <sighs> agree with that characterization. I, it's, it's just a shame that... There's a reason you don't hear about this. Yeah, there's, there's a... Re a you know, sometimes things are don't get the credit they deserve and they just don't have the right publicity. Even if this had all the publicity in the world, it wouldn't go anywhere. I'm ready to give it a grade. I'm, uh, you want to go first? Okay, yeah, I'll give it a uh, I'll give it a C minus because I think that there are, there's no positive qualities and there are a couple of minor negative qualities and then just the whole like it's just a waste of everybody's time and that's kind of like I think we're both on the same page with that. It just doesn't feel like yep. like why like I don't know it, it's just a little bit frustrating that way so that knocks the grade down C minus I was gonna give it a C minus maybe even D but I'm going D minus because that the laziness the lack of inspiration there's there's no point in getting a team together and then not letting them do what they do best because obviously I mean if you got if you get a job on a major fruit like this you need to have some talent you know what I mean? Like Ex they don't just exactly. get bombs off the street to design these fruits. Well, and this or is a gourd. Fruit. Yeah, this is a gourd. The, we know that that the companies that work with gourds do gourds exclusively, yeah. which means they bring in the best of the best because that stuff has to be durable. That stuff, no. it has to last. And and this is this has no lasting. It power. makes me wonder if the whole like all season thing was a bit of a money grab like they tried to put all the resources into making sure you could get these all year round without making the product good this is the unwanted child of a cucumber and an eggplant <sighs> I'm, I, I'm sorry I didn't mean to get so upset um, thank you for watching I'm Mark I'm Nick this is true food reviews and um, and uh, w w do not, I do not recommend this. I don't recommend yeah, this. Absolutely not. Oh, almost lost it. But also, if I did, who cares? Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the internet things. 
We're trying to build a community here and we love having you a part of it. And sort of part of that is we do a lot of subscriber drives. I think you guys maybe have noticed in recent episodes. And I just want to inform you guys about a different one that we're going to do. And that's if we get up to 657 subscribers, we're going to do an episode where there's a dog sitting in the back seat. And uh, I know that the internet and you guys out there are really excited about that. I'm, I'm not willing to reveal exactly what kind of dog right now. but It, it won't will... be a dog that either of us knows too well. No, it's not going to be our dog. It's going to be, it's more of a, a dog than a, our dog, that's for sure. Exactly. Perhaps my in-law's dog or his girlfriend's dog. Something like that, where it's yeah. not so familiar. Yeah. It should make for some interesting chemistry. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right. that's a wrap, this folks. It's been Oppo Squash. See you later. Pathetic.